Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, last time we set up an airport or two. Yeah, I know, radical. Uh, right, now, uh, what I can do is add more airports, of course. But what I, need, what I think I really need to do is add a passenger transport network to uh, this part of the map. At least uh, to catch Frostbite Falls, Danville, Castle Rock, and uh, the Dog River Trio here uh, in some manner, right? So uh, that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to connect up this uh, passenger train station that, uh, that I added at Frostbite Falls Airport, and I'm going to bring a uh, passenger uh, train station into Danville, like a train line into Danville. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to route that, and it's not going to be as uh, efficient, I guess, as it could be. But the uh, thing we need to know is uh, where we're going to put it. Yeah, that's going to be uh, rather important. So let's, um, let's bring this up and uh, take a look here at... Uh, no, that's not the thing I want to bring up. I want to bring up the uh, is that no? That's not uh, that's not helping. Uh, land use, yeah, that is uh, okay. So it looks to me like we probably want to put it right through here. That means demolishing the town, you know. Yeah, yeah, it does rather look like it means demolishing the town. You're going to demolish the town, aren't you? Well, no, not uh, not specifically the the entire town, at least. Uh, you're going to pause it while you do whatever you do, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, so, uh, no! You want to get here. Why are you doing that? So I can see if I've demolished too much stuff. Oh. So you're saying if you demolish too much stuff, then uh, then you have a problem. Yeah, because if I demolish all of one type of building, it might not grow back. Oh, yes, that is a uh, real thing. Anyway, we've got a hill here. I kind of want to put the uh, station here, and I want to kind of point it... I don't know how I want to point it. I think I probably want to point it this way. No, I think... I, no, I want to point it this way. Because then we'll come around this side of Castle... Ro yeah, okay. But you're still going to put it in the middle, aren't you? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I've got this idea that I could put it in the middle-ish and sink it. And then leave, let the town roads go over top of it. Yeah, you could do that. You're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, right. So do you honestly think this is going to work? Well, yeah. Yeah, I honestly do think it's going to work. Uh, is it going to be ideal? No, probably not. Is it going to work? Sure. Oh, I have the sandbox on, so that's why it, the whole town lights up when I have the bulldozer on. Why are you bulldozing those uh, trees? Uh, because I can? Okay, well, as long as you know why you're doing it. That's enough of that fiddly stuff. Get rid of that, too. Yeah, okay. That, that That's enough. You want a train station. And it needs to be a passenger train station. And you're going to make it 320 meters, aren't you? And it's going to be high speed. With the catenary. And it's going to have two tracks. And... 
you're going to just stick it right in the middle, aren't you? Yep, exactly in the middle. That, that looks about good. Okay. You could just put it at ground level. I could. Uh, or I could put it down here. You could, but how are you going to get passengers into it? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. That's a point. Uh, okay. Well, why don't you just like put the station somewhere and be done with it? You know, you might have a point there. Oh, look, you put the station. Yeah, I put the station. Configure it. Buildings. Uh, is it that one? No. It's that one. Put that. You're doing this just to make it symmetrical, aren't you? Yeah, don't you like symmetrical things? Um, yeah, I suppose. What are you doing now? I'm setting it up so I can have a proper uh, road in front of the station. So you're making a... You're making a big road in front of the station. Yeah. So that I don't have to expand it later. You know, you're never going to come back to this place, right? Well, that's not known for sure. No, I suppose it isn't. Uh, okay, we can do that. Good. That matches up. Good. Uh, right. Okay, so now what are you going to do? I'm going to extend the road out to here. And yeah, I need to do the same thing here. Right. And then we extend the road out to here. Yeah, we have extended the road. Now, if we upgrade... What? That's a collision. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we don't want to demolish any more now. Uh, right. So, we put a road here a piece of road here yeah and then we can run a piece of road to here and a piece of road to here right and a piece of road up here yeah okay and then we can go over here we can upgrade that and that and even this yeah. Okay. Well, that links the two parts of the town, at least. Um, yeah, but there isn't much town left, is there? No, but we can start the uh, thing up again. And, uh, yeah. We can now build the track that we need. So it's going to be high speed, and it's going to need to come out of here. Where is it going to run? It needs to come around to here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is see... Uh, 
Okay, we can get around there. Actually, we can go, we can parallel that. Can we? Too much slope. Too much slope. Ah, no, we can, in fact, get down to that level. Okay, so what if I put a track there and just try and wang this? Ooh, that works. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just uh, parallel this existing freight line here. After all... It's already going under these two other tracks. So it means we can just get through there. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is tolerable. Okay. We got a road here. It's in the wrong place. Uh, we need this to come out here. And we'll uh, level it on the way out. Right. Yep. And where are we? We need to come in this way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now if we do this. Construction not possible, man. Right. Probably because we have to do this first. And then try to wang it in. Yeah, that's tolerable. Okay. Good. That gives us a, uh, a connection up to the, uh, the airport. Um, okay. So we're going to need a uh, crossover thingy over here. So let's put a crossover thingy in over here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to initially need a crossover thingy in here, too. So we'll put a half crossover thingy in there. Now, uh, something we can do, at least for the moment, is we can stick the uh, train uh, depot thing over here. Uh... And we're going to have to do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Now, we're going to buy a train. Well, yeah, yeah that, that was pretty obvious. What's in here under the multi-units? Well, we could use a Shinkansen. Uh, which, uh, that's 8 million to run. Or we could use the Mirage, which is 2 million to run was two million uh, doesn't say what the running costs are uh, metro liner or we could do something uh, radical and grab a regular uh, loco that does 200 that does 200. That's got lots of kilowatts. That's got even more kilowatts. Yeah, those are expensive to run. Uh, but what wagons do we have that are... Well, we have that one that does 200. That has a loading speed of 2. That has a loading speed of 4. Oh, that's slower. That one is a loading speed of 1. Well, we could use that one. It carries 22. Okay. So we put like 4 of them on there, or 5, five of them on there, right? With a... Yeah. Hmm. We can always replace the TGV. That's got... Uh, 144, it's, uh, oh, it's really, f it's 16 times loading speed. 
You know what? Let's put a TGV on here. It's 207 meters, but we got long stations. So we'll buy one. Yeah. And we're going to put a new line. And we're going to go from here to here. Now we're going to have to rename that station. Anyway, it's the uh, cargo rail. Well, it's the intercity rail, uh, actually. And it's going to be the frostbite intercity frostbite intercity. Yeah, we're going to call it the frostbite intercity. Um, right. Okay. Now we'll go in here. Um, what? Okay. Danville. We're just going to call this Danville. Yeah, there we go. We're going to actually uh, ride this just to uh, take a look at, at how horrible this track probably looks. You know, it just uh, seems like the thing to do, right? Uh, just to take a ride on it and uh, see what it looks like. This thing has some pretty good get up and go, doesn't it? Uh, right. So we uh, we uh, fade around down this corner, which isn't uh, terribly uh, uh, sharp, really. Uh, and there's the freight line. Yeah, it was a good call following the freight line because we already have the uh, the rail crossings plumbed in for this uh, this area here and we had space under the bridges right so it just seemed like the thing to do uh, right so uh, this is a short bit here uh, we're not gonna get up to uh, full train speed here for sure uh, is we're gonna have to slow down when we're coming into uh, Danville right uh, but uh, it will get us to Danville right Okay, now we diverge from the uh, freight down into the town, and whoosh, here we go. Whoosh, huh? Yeah, whoosh. Hey, we didn't get any pillars on the track there. Uh, and here we go, we're into our town. We have passengers, oh my. That is astounding. We have passengers. Yeah, seven of them. Okay, now half of that is the townspeople going between, uh, going between the uh, uh, parts of the town, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do while I'm over here is... Uh, I'm going to actually connect the two sides of the town and I think I can do it here with a bridge maybe hmm too much slope yeah that would be uh, okay can we avoid too much slope somehow? Well, yeah, we can. We just build that first. Well, we take this piece off. Right, yeah, we take that piece off. And come around here and... Uh, Yeah, do this. Bridge pillar collision. Really? Uh, okay, we can... Well, that one works. Okay. And we can go back all the way to there. Yeah, we'll do that. And... This... 
we can oh yeah we can let it drop back to ground level yeah uh, if we do it this way then we can uh, no then oh, we can do this yeah we can do this okay yep we can do this right I like it you would uh, okay we need to get rid of the traffic light there get rid of the traffic light there get rid of a traffic light there and even over here and over here yeah okay now at least the towns are connected for private the town parts are connected for private traffic uh, right now uh, we're gonna need to come out over to Castle Rock and that means we're gonna come out this way so I'm going to uh, while I'm here I'm going to I'm gonna close close that uh, I'm gonna bring a train line you know rail out this way what the hell Uh, okay, so I brought the train out there. Uh, really, a level crossing is not the most brilliant idea. Um, it really isn't, but... Uh, I'm going to do it there. Uh, I'll rejig all of this when the town, if the town gets uh, big enough that it warrants it. Uh, but I just wanted to have another crossing, right? So, that, uh, Danville here should start reestablishing itself now. Uh, but that gets us uh, one stage in the, the track. Now Castle Rock is going to need a uh, train station. Now how am I going to get to Castle Rock? Probably around this way. Uh, so I think the Castle Rock train station can be along here. Yeah, I think it could. And that one, I definitely want to sink into the landscape. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to do that this time. That's going to be a bunch of fiddling around. I want to take a look here. We got, oh my, we got 74 passengers waiting at the airport. Um, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, I think we're going to need bigger planes. Or more of them. Maybe just bigger planes. Yeah. Let's uh, manage the vehicles. And we'll do this. What are we running here? Uh, that's a... Uh, seven... 7.37. Okay. So if we go in here, now we're going to go for large, and we're going to go for passenger. Uh, so we had the 737, which carries 20, and does 778. Uh, this carries 50 and does 893. You know what? Yeah. We'll use those. Yeah. Uh, so that will... Uh, that will get us uh, much, uh, much more, uh, uh, um, a capacity. That's that's the word, capacity, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll do that. Um, 
Right. And so when this plane gets in, uh, we're going to load almost everybody that's waiting. Okay, so the bigger planes will carry more traffic. Now, if we go back over in this corner, I just want to take a look here. Uh, here, we have 77 waiting. So we definitely... Oh, uh, something... I am i don't think this. I did this on screen, but I uh, ran the tram over to this uh, Grand Fenwick train station as well. So that... Uh, not only does that give us a passenger connection through between these two stations by uh, tram, it also uh, connects the uh, rail network a little more efficiently uh, because there's uh, trains that stop here that don't stop here. Uh, you know, the ones that come up into, uh, into Arkham Regional, uh, those ones uh, definitely uh, need uh, needed more... Uh, uh, connectivity right uh, so yeah and we've got uh, yeah we got quite a few passengers moving around the rail network here so ultimately though I'm, I want to put another uh, rail link uh, hopefully I'll connect it into uh, the lower Wakanda station and it'll come out here and probably bypass Grand Fenwick and come over and connect up to Chester's Mill that um, is what I'm thinking of, and that's going to be a big regional uh, uh, commuter, uh, or not commuter, but uh, connection line. Uh, it's going to have, it's going to run uh, three twenty meter stations, long trains, you know that sort of thing. Uh, you know, come into uh, Chester's Mill, uh, and uh, maybe it'll also connect into Stepford, and then points past. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. Uh, you know, is uh, and I can see this Metroplex here is uh, building up even more uh, since I uh, put the airport in. So, so that'll be uh, interesting as well. Uh, anyway, uh, we got a train. We've picked up some passengers here. Uh, this one, yep, has fifty passengers on. And it's taking off, headed for Frostbite Falls. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I might actually end up saving some traffic, ultimately. Uh, getting rid of some traffic, ultimately. What the, what the bleep is that? Um, by uh, uh, doing some of this. What the bleep is the traffic doing there? Yeah, I don't get that. Uh, anyway, uh, that, so the, the the airport here, I might, uh, and I can probably uh, take some traffic off by putting a smaller airport in over here. Um, you know, a few things like that, right? Uh, so uh, there's a little bit of, uh, there's stuff left that we can do on this map, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, probably a regional airport in here. Uh, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. But meanwhile, uh, the idea I've had is to get this plumbed in a little bit and uh, see what we can do. Uh, as you can see, we've got passengers uh, popping up here at uh, Danville. Uh, and the town is regrowing. So uh, there is that. Uh, if we uh, look in here. Yeah, so we've got 75 shopping facilities now. So, so it's uh, reestablishing itself, and that's good. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to put the cut here. Uh, I think this episode's long enough. We did one thing, got it working, and I, uh, uh, you know, waffled on a bit about some other stuff, and uh, I think we're good. So that's uh, that's going to be all for uh, for this episode. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you back next time.